If you want to get the free knife, try doing this. Start off by selling off your in-game case drops until you get around $1. And by the end of this video, we will be turning this little money into a knife just by doing no-risk trade-ups. And if you're new to trade-ups, don't worry, I'll show you guys a step-by-step -step guide on how to do this. I have been doing trade-ups for more than 5 years now and have been paying my bills with my profits from it, so believe me when I say you can get lots of money by doing profitable trade-ups. By the way, this is the last chance to enter my Neon Rider giveaway. If you want to enter, check out the pinned comment down below. So the first and most important step in doing trade-ups is getting the right float inputs. And there are a few methods that I use and the first method is putting up buy orders in the steam market. Now before I tell you how to do this efficiently, let me first show you the first trade-up. So we will be using 10 Memo Revolution skins. You can use any of these skins over here and make sure to get them for around 12 to 13 cents each. Now the most important thing about this trade-up is that you need to keep the average float of the 10 skins to be less than 0 0.0875 and the easiest way to get these low float skins is by setting up a buy order. To do this, go to the Steam Market, then choose CS2 and then show advanced options in the collections, choose Revolution, then Minimal Wear, Normal and Mill Spec and it will show you all the skins that you can use for this trade-up. Now you can set up buy orders on the MP5 Featherweight, the MP5 Liquidation and the Tech 9 Rebel for 12 cents each and set up a buy order on the others for 13 cents. Now what this buy order table means is that if someone sells their skin for 13 cents, it will automatically be sold into people who list the buy order. But since there are 16 people who set the buy order before you, their buy orders will need to be filled first so there will be some waiting time but I promise you guys it will be worth it since this trade up is so profitable. Now the one bad side about buy orders is that you will have to sell off the skins that you get with bad floats and you will lose some money to steam tax because of this. So another way to do this is by sniping off low float skins in the steam market directly. Now for this method, you will need to download the CSGO Float Market Checker Chrome extension, link is down in the description. This is so that you can see the floats of the listings directly in the Steam Market, which will make your Steam Market look like this to this. And some additional tips I have for you guys is to change this 10 to a 100 so that there will be 100 listings per page instead of 10. And also put the highlight filter by putting in float less than 0.09. This will make it so that any listing with a float less than 0.09 will automatically be highlighted which is what you want for this trade-up. Now there is a third way that you can get low float skins which I will discuss later so make sure to stay until the end. Now going back to the trade-up, the trade-up will cost around $1.21 and for the outcomes you get a $2 profit with the M4A1, then a 30 to 40 cents profit with the P90 and the Glock Umbral Rabbit, then the Mac 10 Sakaku will give you a break even after Steam Tax, and the Revolver Banana Cannon is sold for only around 84 cents each, but since this is a low float skin, you can sell it for a little bit more. I personally sell it for around $1.10 to $1.20 each and it gets sold in around 3 days. But if you really need the money, you can just sell it for $1 and it will be sold a lot quicker. But anyway, we will be losing almost nothing to these two skins, so technically I'll consider it a no-risk trade-up. And the profitability of this trade-up is insane, you will be getting a 35.25% ROI, which is insane for a $1 no-risk trade-up. So let's try it out. Okay boys, let's start this video with a dub. 3, 2, 1. Ooh, the P90, that's actually decent profit boys. So let me just spam this trade-up out and see the money flowing in. So we have been getting too many P90s over here, which I'm not complaining, but hopefully we get the M4A1 soon. 3, 2, 1. Nice boys. And we get two in a row. Yeah. Yeet. Holy shit boys, that's a decent start. So this now puts your steam balance to $6.58, which is a nice start. So let's keep grinding boys. So this next trade up is a banger trade up. It's the literal definition of a no risk trade up. And this will be a mil spec dust 2 trade up in where we'll be using 8 field tested dust 2 skins and 2 minimal wear dust 2 skins. So for the field tested skins, you can use any of these 2 skins which you can get for around 55 to 58 cents each. And make sure to use skins with floats less than 0 0.20. And for the minimal wear skins, you can use the same 3 skins and make sure to get them for around 1 dollar and 2 cents and also make sure that the average float is less than 0 0.09. Now if you do it right, the average float of the 10 skins will turn out to be less than 0 0.175 and the best thing about this trade-up is that there is only one outcome which will be the P2K Amber Fade 
which is a $2 profit, which means that this is literally easy money. So let's try it out. So first attempt of this trade up, can we please get something nice? Three, two, one. Wait, I forgot there was only one outcome. I'm fucking stupid. So I'll be speeding this up for you boys. This is the best trade up ever, but it's also the most boring one. So spam this out while you can boys. Third trade up, we will be doing a restricted Stacha glove trade up in where we'll be using 10 mil more glove skins. So you can use 10 Nova Gillas or GSGG1 Stingers, which you can get for around $1.40 each, and the average float needs to be less than 0 0.0933. Now, for the outcomes, we get a $4 profit with a FAMAS, then a $3 profit with a P90 Shallow Grave, and a $1.40 profit with a Sawed Off Wasteland. And the profitability of this trade up will be 119%, which is a really decent profit for a no risk trade up. So let's try it out. Okay, boys, we are now on to our third trade up. And even though this is a no risk trade up, we still really don't want one of the outcomes, which is the Sawed Off Wasteland Princess, since that only gives us around a $1.40 profit. But hopefully, we do hit the FAMAS in 3, 2, 1. Nice, this is a P90, that's the second best outcome. Can we get the FAMAS this time? Yeah? Yeet. Oh nice, we actually got it. Last attempt for this trade up. Can we get it twice in a row? Ouch, we did hit the sod off, but at least we got one of every skin. But before we move on to the next trade up, let's hear a quick word from the sponsor of this video. Are you looking for low float skins for your trade ups? Well, I just found this low float skin for this print stream trade up easily on Skins Monkey. So, Skins Monkey is a site where you can trade your skins safely and easily to get those nasty CS2 skins. And for you guys, Skins Monkey and I are giving out a free $5 on your first trade if you put in my code else. They're also giving away a bunch of free skins, and using my code, you can get a 35% bonus on your deposits. So, make sure to check them out, link is in the description. On to the fourth trade up, we will be doing a restricted Stachach Fracture trade up in where we will be using 10 minimal wear skins. So you can use any of these four skins, which you can get for around $1.40 each. And the average float of the 10 skins needs to be less than 0 0.0933. For the outcomes, I call this a very risky no risk trade up, since the best outcome by a mile is a Glock Vogue, which will be a $7 profit, and the XM, which is the worst outcome, will only be around a $1.80 profit. Then the middle ground of this trade up will be the Emperor for Tooth Fairy, which will be a $4 profit, but overall the profits of this trade up is insane. The ROI will turn out to be 31.09%, and we'll be getting $4.30 on average each time we do this trade up, so let's spam it out. Let's get the Cock Vogue in 3, 2, 1. Ooh, only the M4. No, we got the next one. Fuck! Holy shit, are you serious, bro? What the fuck? We actually got four of the worst outcomes in a row. So fuck that trade up, we were so freaking unlucky. Let's move on to the fourth trade up. And for this trade up, you'll be using six Tachak Minimal or Prisma 2 skins, which you can get for around $1.60. I sometimes use the SG Darkwing, but this is much more expensive, so I don't recommend you guys to do that. And we'll also be using four Tachak Factory Prisma 2 skins, which you can get for around $4.33 each. Now the average float of the 10 skins will be less than 0 0.07 and the total cost will be around $27. And for the outcomes, this will again be a very risky no risk trade up since the best outcome will be the MAC-10 Discotech which will be a $10 profit. Then the next best profit outcome will be the AK Phantom Disruptor which is a $5 profit. Then the MAG-7 Justice will be a $0.50 cents profit. And overall, the profitability of this trade up is 119.22%, and we'll be getting a profit of $5.22 each time we attempt this trade up. So let's try this out. Okay, boys, we are getting closer and closer to a knife. And if we get a MAC 10 discotheque, it will be so big for this video. So, first attempt, Gaben, please give me some luck. Yeah, yeet. Ooh, the AK. I will take that as long as I don't get the MAG 7 Justice. Second attempt, again just give me anything but the MAG-7 Justice in 3, 2, 1. Nice, another AK. Okay boys, so this is my last attempt for this Prisma 2 trade up over here. And hopefully we get the MAG-10 in 3, 2, 1. Oh, we're so freaking unlucky. 
Now our luck has literally been zero for the past trade-ups, but the good thing about Norris trade-ups is that even if your luck is zero, you will still be profiting. And we somehow managed to get our $1.25 to now $50.54, which is insane. So we can now do our final trade-up for this video, which will be using 10 Statshack Field Tested Revolution skins. You can use either the UMP Wildchild or the P2K Wicked Sick. These two will cost around $4.40. And you also have to make sure that the average float of the 10 skins is less than 0.1875. Now the total cost will be around $44. And for the outcomes, this will be a 50-50 trade-up, we have a 50% chance to get the m for for Temukau which will be a $69 profit, noise. Then the AK headshot will cost only about $46, but since it will come out in a really low float, you can easily sell it for around $50 and someone will easily buy it, so make sure to try this one out. And as you can see over here, the profitability of this trade-up is literally insane. We will be getting an ROI of 78% and a profit of $34 each time we do this trade-up. So I am getting kinda nervous about this trade-up. I have about 3 attempts. And if we hit the AK headshot 3 fucking times, I will be so fucking mad since this took me about a week to get the inputs. But anyway, for the first attempt... 3... 2... 1... Fuck, that's the AK headshot. It's okay, it's okay. Think positively, that's still a profit. Gaben, please give me at least some luck in 3, 2, 1... No! Shit! Okay boys, so I am fucking drained right now. It's 5.26am in my country. And I have been so unlucky in this video so far. So, we seriously gonna get 3 AK headshots in a row? Well, I hope not. So Gaben, please give me the anime girl in 3, 2, 1... Nice! Holy shit, boys! So Gaben came through at the end over there, and upon checking, it is minimal wear, so that is quite nice, boys. And that now puts your Steam balance to now $118.73. So after scouring the Steam market, I was deciding if I should go for this Falchion Boreal Forest or this Bowie Knife Rust Coat, but I did like this Bowie Knife a lot more, so let's go with this one. And checking it out in game, I think it looks insanely nice. So if this video does insanely well, I think I'll give it away to you guys. So if you want a chance to get this knife, make sure to like and subscribe so that the YouTube algorithm will bless this video. But anyway, this is a video that YouTube thinks you will like, and otherwise, peace out, boys.